Alright guys, so I just wanted to go over a little bit about what's it like driving a deleted diesel opposed to when it was stock because I actually did drive this truck about 10 hours home from Tennessee and it was actually a bit more because you know I went to the Smoky Mountains in North Carolina I must say it was amazing. I was driving. <laughs> I don't even want to get into that right now. But yeah, it was a good 10 hours and now that it's deleted, I'm telling you. Just the power delivery, the acceleration of this truck is a night and day difference between what it was before. And I just, I love it so much now compared to what it was. It was just, it was honestly like a grandpa truck. It was just a lugging three quarter ton truck. Eight, what is it, eight or 9,000 pound truck with a heavy ass engine in it. It was just awful. But once I deleted it, man, it's just, it feels so much amazing. So much more amazing. The acceleration is all there. It's so quick, almost like you're driving a car. And then also you got the reliability of Cummins and then it's so much louder than before. I'm telling you, when all that emission stuff was on it, the DPF, the muffler, the cats, everything. I think there's still one cat on it, but I'm saying it was just, it was so much different than it is now. It's so much louder. You can actually hear the turbo and you actually just woke, woke up the truck and it doesn't have to basically be inhaling all of its, all of its poop because it would put out all this exhaust nonsense and diesel soot out and then it would just feed it back in the engine but now it's breathing freely and I must say night and day difference now it's literally a race truck just from the tuning in. and I'm running a stock tune by the way I haven't even tried the other tunes which I will in another video but I'm telling you man stock tune on this truck it's amazing I love the sound of it it's just great it's definitely the way to go if you guys have a diesel truck now if you guys want to just see it on the road and how it was driving whenever it wasn't deleted whenever I had it when it was stock well, look back to when I first took delivery, and I also made a good video on driving at 10 hours home from Tennessee to Pennsylvania. Don't worry, I'll put the mirrors down. <laughs> we are currently whipping it in the Cummins once again, taking the long way around so it actually warms up. Brought both boxes with me because I'm going to be able to rearrange, but yeah, heading to a cool spot. So it's going to take a little bit to get there. Up on the highway now, later in the day of course, and definitely switch up. But yeah, we should be there soon enough. Let's go. <laughs> Just saw the power strip go by. It was one of those six sevens, not the 2017 ones, but you can see this giant tip on the back of it. It, it flies by. I was like, whoa, what? sounds like a jet. Sounds like some kind of aircraft, and it's definitely a deleted power strip. Pretty cool. I was hauling some kind of big trail. Come on, BJs. Start selling diesel, would you? Uh-oh. Railroad tracks. And solid axle certainly handles that like a champ. Holy cow, man. Everything just vibrates and shakes in here. The truck is super loud. I mean, this this microphone probably doesn't pick up half of it, but it's so loud in here, man. You gotta love it. Talk about a diesel really quieting down whenever it gets, whenever it gets warmed up. I, I just coasted down that hill. I didn't even have to touch the brake, and now it's barely even making a sound. Oh, look at that. Got a 